Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. Here we discuss well more uh, warranted limits. Basically, go do some examples. It'll be part one of the series. I got a lot of examples to go through. So let's say example one first here states find the limit of g of x. X approaches one, and if g of x is this function here, which is a, a, just a two-part uh, function here, it combined into uh, like this one right here. So basically, it's equal to x plus one if x is not equal to one and it's equal to pi of x equals to one and we want to find the limit here and now recall from the uh, limit laws etc it doesn't matter what the actual um, value is at at one here because all we want to know is what is the value as it approaches here so the value added it doesn't matter here so g of one we don't need to really look into it yeah thus all we have to do is look at when it's not equal to one here so we just go limit as x approaches one of x plus one and then this one is just using direct substitution like I showed earlier, you can see video link below, you just plug it in, it's going to be 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 here, so that's the limit. And if you were to graph this function here, this uh, g of x here, this is x plus 1 here, and as you can see, this open circle at this uh, at, at x equals to 1 and y is equal to 2 here, and, and uh, this just means that this is the actual value here at 1, so g of 1 is equal to pi here, but it doesn't matter here because the limit as you're approaching x is equal to 1, it's, uh, from both sides you're approaching this value of 2 here, so that's the limit. Okay, so now let's look at example 2 here, this one basically states find the limit as h approaches 0 of 3 plus h squared uh, minus 9 divided by h here, and you can't uh, just plug in the numbers here because you're going to have a divide by 0 here, there's a number divided by 0, so you, you can't just plug it in directly, substitute it. So, but then my earlier video I showed that what you could do is just rearrange this or just expand this out so we could cancel the bottom and you can cancel it because uh, it's not actually equal to zero here but it's approaching zero here so what we could do if we expand this uh, squared value inside we're gonna get yeah we're gonna get right here if you just foil this out this times itself is gonna be nine plus this is gonna be a three times h so six h plus h squared minus nine you can see the video link below on foiling it's just uh, pretty straightforward. Just multiply this by both of them and this one by both and then add them up. And this is going to, now we just cancel the 9s right here. We can cancel. We're going to be left with now. You have 6h plus h squared divided by h. And as you can see here, well, we could even take the h out in this. Yes, yeah, so if we just take this h out or just factor it out, we're going to have this h divided by h. And since h is not actually equal to 0, yeah, if it's not equal to 0, it just approaches it because this is what the limit is. It's not doesn't actually equal to 0. So we're not going to have it divide by 0. So we could actually just cancel it out and this would just be 1 here. So we could just cancel. We're going to be left with now yeah, this limit here of uh, h approaches 0 of 6 plus h. So this one just, just directly substitute it. It's going to be now 6 plus 0 or 6. So that's our limit. Okay, so now if we go to the last example for today, this one here, a uh, limit of t approaches 0 of the square root t squared plus 9 minus 3 divided by t squared. And once again, right, we have a number divided by 0 here because when you plug this approaches 0, so we can't just directly substitute the numbers in. So we, what we have to do uh, instead, what we could do is rationalize the denominator. I'll do another video on this later. Yeah, this is uh, basically rationalize the denominator. What this is just means basically making the bottom such that it's, we won't have a divide by zero here. So what we could do is multiply the top and bottom by uh, this function here plus three, just so that we're gonna have a cancellation here. I'll show you, I'll do more, more on this in another video, but I'll do this right here. It's uh, pretty straightforward. Yeah, so this is what I mean, just multiply the top and bottom by this numerator, but with a plus 3 here, so that once you uh, multiply, they cancel out here. So if you, if you foil this in, so we this you multiply this by this, and that one, and then this, this then we add them by this plus this one here. So we're going to get, etc. we're going to get right here. Yeah, this right here at the bottom, we're going to have uh, this one standard here, two, t squared times whatever this bottom was. And now when we multiply this by this, we're going to have the, the square roots cancel. So we're just going to have t9. Because when you ever times the square root uh, by another square root, it's square root is cancel. So now we're going to have... Yeah, now, now we multiply this by this. We're going to get now plus 3. Yeah, 3 times the square root. But this is going to cancel because once we multiply my, by this negative 3 to this one. So negative 3 t squared plus 9. So that's why we multiply by this opposite signs here. And then the last one, this, this by this, we're just going to get a negative 9 right here. So then these would cancel. And now we're going to be left with, well, and then this 9 will cancel as well here. So this 9 and this one will cancel. So we're going to be left with, yeah, we're going to be left with this one right here, t squared divided by t squared, uh, this one 
this function right here. And also we recall from above, since t is not equal to zero, but it's approaching zero, so we can actually divide it by it. It's not actually going to be zero. So th these would just cancel. So these just cancel, and then we're going to be left with now this, this function right here. Yes, yeah, so we're left with this one right here. And then now this one, we're not going to get a, a zero denominator, uh, I don't think. We so just plug it in, and we'll see what happens. So if we directly substitute it, we're going to get now 1 divided by, this is going to be a 1 squared plus 9 plus 3. So we're going to equal 2. Oh, my bad. It's not a 1. You just put a 0. Okay, so you put a 0 in here. So 0 squared, 0. And then we're going to have plus 9. So that's just going to be now 1 over the square root of 9 plus 3. This equals to now that's 3. So 1, 3 plus 3 is equal to 1 over 6. And this is our final answer. Well, that's all for today. Hopefully you learned from uh, these examples here. And I'll, I'll do another video on rationalizing the denominator in a future video. And uh, remember, you can download these notes in the Dropbox link below. And uh, look at the video links in the description for more info on direct substitution and limits, etc., etc. That's all for today. Hopefully you learned and stay tuned for another math easy solution.